Good morning and welcome to Berthon. My name's Hugh and today we're going to be looking at a 2007 build Broom 450 named Muriel. We're here at Berthon, the vessel is lying ashore here. We're going to have a good look around her decks and then head on inside. So as you can see, she's a large semi-displacement motor yacht built in Norfolk by Broom Boats. She was built in 2007 and she is currently in her second ownership from new. We'll start at the stern. So we have a large bathing platform. It's laid in flexi teak. This vessel was significantly refitted during 2017 to 2018. So we have new flexi teak on her bathing platform, aft treads and side decks. Got two large opening hatches into her aft cabin. Dinghy davit here for the Simpson system, which is very simple. There's a new raft from 2018. Plenty of storage for fenders, etc. And you can see, really simple to get on board. Large, very, very well protected aft cockpit. And we'll head down to her four decks first of all. So the 450 in this arrangement has three cabins, large aft cabin with ensuite, forward cabin again with ensuite and side bunk cabin. Heading forward we've got a very large open four deck area. The vessel was purchased by her current owners in 2017. She then had a fair amount of work done in 2017 and 2018 to prepare her for a cruise up to Scandinavia. So you have the addition of an aft anchor, the folding forward ladder, just to make access over the stem much more simple. And looking aft, you can see that she had new canvas work at that time also. So three forward facing screens going down into her main saloon. There's no inner helm in the broom. So you've got all of that space being used just for accommodation. Plenty of big stout handrails right the way around the boat. Again, substantial deck gear, stainless steel window frames with covers on them. Plenty of ventilation, both by the solar ventilators and also through opening deck hatches. Massively built access hatch through the cabin top here and her main helm position lies behind these screens here so we have the option of having this area open underneath the radar arch the hood folds forward and folds back another point to mention in her refit all of the exterior upholstery was retrimmed storage right the way through underneath all of these squabs. This is the arch, it's on an electric mechanism so the whole lot folds back and as you can see there's a stainless steel frame system for the forward part which again allows this to be enclosed or kept open. Lighting underneath the radar arch and this is the mechanism and emergency stop for folding the radar arch aft. So there's access via both sides. The canopy can be sectioned to provide as much ventilation as you need. To the port side we've got a double navigator's bench with an E80 plotter. Main helm is over to the starboard side. EVC throttles on this are linked to the Volvo Penta D9 engines. This has got the 500 variants in it. And at the moment she's run about 570 hours with last service in 2019 by Volvo Penta. This is the mechanism for unclipping the forward part of the hood. And as you can see, decent sized screen wipers on both sides. Her dash has been retrimmed in carbon effect. I have a new helm seat fitted as well. And this is the aft area. Again, plenty of storage underneath all of these squabs. An extremely good visibility forward. 
The main saloon, there's deck access straight through here. We have saloon seating round to port and forward to the starboard side. Sideboard coming back aft towards the after cabin entrance. All the leather inside was treated and fed during 2018. And as you can see, she's in extremely nice condition throughout. Large new flat screen TV fitted during the refit, and that's linked to a CTEL satellite dome up on the radar arch. Very little wear evident on any of the surfaces or on the leather throughout. And it's a couple of steps down and you're into this galley area. Under floor storage, there's also storage in lockers right the way around the galley. Plenty of light coming down here from the big screens. You can open up that port to get fresh air through and it's fully fitted. So we have electric cooking on a ceramic. Plenty of storage in here for cutlery, microwave, large fridge, and that can all be run off the generator or offshore power. She's fitted with a large 12 kilowatt Fisher Panda. And on the starboard side of the galley, we've got this bunk, third cabin. Really good headroom throughout, good six foot berths, and a massive storage locker on the forward end accessed just behind here. Really good lighting, plenty of ventilation throughout, and as you can see, really nicely picked woodwork. Broom very much from commercial heritage, build a very, very, very stiff, strong and seaworthy vessel. With these engines, she's going to be good for higher 20s, top out with cruising in the low 20s or anything up to that. So looking around the forward cabin, this is the VIP. We have ensuite over to the port side. It's fully trimmed out. Again, nice opening deck hatch, really good lighting throughout, plenty of storage, lots of mirrors, and a large centerline double. Very lightly used. Ensuite forward cabin, electric flushing heads, large roundel shower. There's access through into the galley area and also ensuite access direct from the forward cabin. Large thermostatic shower, shower sump tray down here. Really easy to clean mouldings. Plenty of light again, plenty of ventilation. So we're coming out into the galley area here again. As you can see, simple stairs up, main seating. Underneath my feet at the moment is a hatch for access down into the engine bay. This boat is fitted with three zone climber air conditioning and also Eberspacher diesel fired cabin heating. So no matter what the environment, you can either stay warm or cool. The refit also added many more blinds through the boat, so you can keep the sun out in the worst of it. Sideboard on the starboard side, AV cabinet with both CTEL and Skybox. There's a DVD player that links up. We've got a fridge up here in the saloon. And then in the third cabinet aft, keys and oddments and stereo controls. Going down into the aft cabin on the left side is the main 230 and 12 volt panel. So all your battery switching, lighting, pumps, another switching from here, heads tanks and indicators also there. The boat was on part one of the British registry. And going into the main selling point of these brooms, it's this fantastic aft cabin. So it's full beam, centerline, huge double berth, large opening aft port lights through the transom. 
Ensuite is on the port side. On starboard we've got two opening port lights, air conditioning controls, all really nicely trimmed out in Alcantara vinyl headlinings. All the carpeting is extremely clean throughout the boat. We've got massive, massive storage and hanging space here with three hanging lockers at the forward end. Air conditioning vents are also visible. Dressing area on the port side. Plenty of lighting options again. Nice sideboard running right the way around the boat. And then on the port side, we've got this large, again, moulded in head compartment. Towel radiator. Electric flushing head. Sink. And then at the forward end, we've got a shower stall with seat. Large thermostatic head shower again. Fan ventilation to keep all the steam out and a closing door in here. So this is the aft cabin. We're going to head up again into the saloon. Before we do that, this is your daily checks. So the aft stair lifts up. We've got a view straight onto the aft end of these D9s. Oil filters here, fuel filter a little bit further in, straight onto the exhausts underneath. The whole floor lifts up for easier inspection and there's a hatch in the middle. Really nicely trimmed out, extremely nicely matched timber, exactly what Bream are fabled for. Many thanks for watching and please do call for any more information.